Welcome back to Pops and Pilots. Let's play some more Crusader Kings 3. We are Mahmoud, Emperor Mahmoud of Kanembonu, Shakin Sarkuna Mahmoud. We're going for Mother of Us All, uh, descending all the way from, if I can ever find that button, here we go. Uh, Darama Dara, way up there somewhere. There she is. <laughs> Wait, that's Baba. Where's Darama? That's our first son. And I guess the dynasty tree doesn't go back all the way. That's kind of sad. No, you had a mother. There you... That's her. Why is she not on this? Anyway. <laughs> That's where we started. We made a ginormous dynasty. Uh, we made a ginormous empire. And we're converting all of Africa to our religion. Which is going all swell and groovy. However... <laughs> We had a bit of a, um, a hitch in our inheritance, and now we're this guy, Mahmoud, instead of being this guy, Tib, who I wanted to be. And everything was working out well until something happened and then it didn't. So now instead of being Tib, who has all this stuff, we're this guy, who does not have all this stuff, and Tib is rebelling against us, as are a bunch of other people. Now, we did finish a feast right at the end of last episode, so um, opinions here went up a little bit by a plus 20, which might help. Uh, things are going to decay, but other things are going to go up. Our short range penalty is going to go, well, the penalty is going to go down and eventually turn into a long reign bonus, I think. And the work of our Chancellor here, uh, doing domestic affairs, uh, just slowly scales up by 0.45 a month, so there's some opinion to come from there. Uh, also, once we get more prestige, we get levels of fame, which make people more like us more uh, secular people. Still, we have that rebellion going on, and if everything stays the same here, yeah, they're going to rebel in the 16th month, I'm pretty sure. Thing is a bit... Um, this guy we're trying to assassinate, with a pretty good chance to do it, will the assassination plot should finish before... Um, the ultimatum comes, so okay, we might get him out of here, which not only gets him out of the rebellion, but also gives us all this stuff because we are his primary heir. Um, because apparently all his children are dead, which is sad, but also good <laughs> in our case. Um, he's our uncle, I don't love killing him, to be quite fair. If we get caught with a Kinslayer, which is gonna be not, not good at all, but hey, if that works out, uh, he gets out here and we get slightly more powerful. Uh, these people over here might be high of, have high enough of an opinion to either leave of their own accord already or they might just be bribed into leaving. Uh, that's something we're gonna have to try. But even if we get rid of everybody from here, there's these two people. Tip, who we should really have been, and um, Kilia here. And they together have already almost 100% of the power needed to rebel. We're trying to sway Kilia. It's gonna take some time, it might not be done in time, and Tib is Tib's gonna be Tib. Both of these are peeved about not being on the council. It might be a last ditch um, thing to maybe swap these into the council. But um, while Kilia is very good at stewardship, we already have a powerful vassal as a steward who would otherwise be rebelling, so yeah. Six dozen of one half. Six dozen, yes. Six of one, half dozen of the other. Wouldn't help all that much. And Tib is mostly excellent at learning, which we can't um, use him for in our council because he's landed. To make things uh, worse, I guess, we are also in a war. And we are, well, we're winning it, but it's uh, keeping us a little bit busy as well. These numbers here are a bit misleading uh, because part of that is. Uh, a mercenary troop we have hired. We have that for 18 more months and that's where uh, until we have to pay them again and What this say 16 months to send the ultimatum or something? Yeah So we'd only have them for the very start of that war That's not great uh, We'll have to spend more money, which we don't have millions of To get further now. What else can we do? Uh, one thing I've been at least considering is Resetting my perks over here. I've not actually checked that out. So let's have a quick look so we only have two perks done in the Torture Tree. They are currently utterly useless to us. So 
We could reset them for stress gain. We don't have any negative stress modifiers right now. Um, so we would actually get 100 stress and get a stress event, which is not great. Uh, what could we get for it? We're not really into seducing right now. Um, so this tree is probably not going to help. Truth is relative. Fabricating hooks would be nice, but I don't think we have the time and the slots for that. Murder scheme part of 30% would have us slightly with our murder, but we're almost at 95, which is max anyway. So I don't think... I don't think this is super relevant. I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, the question is, do we then call a hunt? Because getting prestige will help us go to the um, next prestige level or fame level, which will in turn give us a um, slight opinion boost. I'm not hating on that. The thing is, here we're paying 167 gold for, I think we get like 150 prestige or so. Depends on the events, but I think 150 is more or less guaranteed. So we're about paying one to one money for prestige. If I were to make like some kingdoms, the ratio is kind of worse. We do get the kingdoms, which in turn makes us the rightful heir, uh, rightful ruler of a bunch of people. But if we make the kingdom of Abyssinia, Abyssinia, for example, um, the people in here, they should all currently have a negative. Oh, you're not my master, but your leash should have a negative modifier because I'm not their rightful leash. It's only minus five, so in this case it's not super relevant. Wow, you're a powerful duke, relatively speaking. Um, Duchess. So we could make her slightly happier if we had that kingdom. Um, the more I think about that, I don't know if that's true. It might be say desires the kingdom of Abyssinia. I'm not sure that that's how that works. And I think Nubia is the other kingdom we can make. You again. Wait, you only have five titles. How are you everything? Oh, because you have the kingdom of... So it's not Nubia we would be making. Oh, it's the mod is the other one I think I can, can make, right? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Check into the mod. That's still the same person. Is everything around here hers? Um, you're my direct. Okay, I don't think we're gonna get much out of this except for the extra prestige, which is nice. Um, I'm tempted to spend a bit of money so we go to the next level of fame. So we get that plus five opinion on everybody. Which might just be enough to put somebody over the edge. I think we do that. Let's call a hunt. And I think I'll also make the Kingdom of Abyssinia. Why not? I mean, it's money we're spending here. It's money that we don't really... Or that we might rather want to be spending on mercenaries. It's quite the balance. And we have to strike here. There's that level of fame. Which should give us plus five opinion, right? Yeah, secular opinion plus five and plus one knight. Oh wait, that's the next level? That's my current level. No, I think this is what we're getting right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we would get another plus five another night if you were to go to Illustrious. I believe. Which we won't. Uh, this the how are we straight up at zero? That's confusing to me. Oh yeah, could fight that stag. We might die, decent chance of getting wounded, or we'd get in a, get in a hunting trophy, which gives us 10 prestige. Or I lose prestige, which is not like that bad. We don't need the prestige, we just wanted the fame. Sucking Najibu, who's the guy we're trying to kill, gets a weak hook on me. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Have to take the risk. I got wounded. The reason I was kind of okay with taking the risk is that the next succession is not going to be a big problem. Uh, we'd just be 
this Kirya, who is currently worse than we are, but that's... she's still a child. Who are you being tutored by anyway? Nobody. That's not... that's not fair at all. Um, do we do it ourselves? We're... decently learned and we're genius, so maybe... Um, where's she at? My sister. Kirya. What are you learning? You're learning diplomacy. It could be diplomacy or intrigue. Nah. <laughs> you know me. I mean, she's really bad at diplomacy, to be fair, right now, because she's callous and shy. So she'd be, be a better intrigue person. Hmm. Are we gonna have the chance to really educate her out of. out of shy? Probably not. That makes diplomacy really bad. Do we actually go for... Stabby Stabby here? Sure. We are an okay stabber. Stabby? No, we are the stabber. <laughs> um, this guy's the stabby. That guy. Um, I guess? And it's probably going to be me, but let's have a quick look. Educate child. I don't even get to choose. But I'm the sender and the receiver, right? So why do I not get to choose? There must be another way. Declare wars. Why is it not on this list? Clearly I'm her everything. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess. <laughs> the evil planner needs to get educated there. So if we were to die, then that's not the absolute end of the world, probably. Although it's another... Ooh, I got myself into a battle there that I shouldn't have gotten myself into. I didn't see it coming. And my elite troops here are not gonna be able to put anything up there, are they? Bad commander. Oof. Do we try to send in reinforcements, or do we just give up on that stack of levies? I hate losing all these levies. I just don't think that my reinforcements are going to be fast enough. Right? This does not look particularly promising to me. I think we run as soon as we can here. Yeah, and we won't be able to run. Yeah, maybe. I mean, these Crusader Kings battles are kind of slowish to actually end with a stack wipe. But I'm gonna group my troops and then try to go north and murder these people and maybe get enough war squad of that to actually end the war. We're at 90%. This would be a great spot for the 10% extra peace acceptance thing, which of course we wouldn't have right now, but this would be a great spot. Yeah, we just got stack wiped there. All my elite people, gone. Which is not something I can really turn home into disappointment. Yeah, and I can really afford right now. War declared! Wait, what? What is this? The Konoon Conquest of the Duchy of Toro. Somebody with 1,100 people declared war on me? What? Okay, it's more land than I thought there would be, but... Still, that doesn't seem like a great decision. We're gonna have to take some time, unfortunately, uh, to beat him up, and we're busy with other things, so it's... I don't like this happening at all. But I don't think it will be our last form. Commander, 21. I'd rather have like the 39 there. My marshal, are you in charge somewhere else? This is definitely A39. These are my, um, my mercenaries. I don't know why I can do this. Moving around and splitting up my mercenaries. That seems... Odd. You go support the siege, because there's another set of enemies there. We're gonna have to go on these. 
I don't think I get like an opinion bonus for being in a defensive war or something. These guys kind of like me now, which is nice. They're still not out. Let's give it another month or two. And then I'll probably try to give them some money. Now, we're going to create another powerful vassal. Well, or make a vassal even more powerful. Um, the guy whose claim we're currently pressing. This is not a war for our own claims or something, but uh, or a war of conquest, but it's a war for the claims of one of our vassals. Who already is a powerful vassal, he'll become more powerful, obviously, once we get him the land. But he should get like a plus 100, I believe, from Opinion Modifier for having us having pressed his claims. So I think he'll be on our side. Uh, Gregarious, Greedy, Lustful. Now, I do like Gregarious. I'm not the biggest fan of Greedy. Then again, you're the uh, I don't care about diplomacy person anyway. It's not considered a, um, a sin or anything here for us. So maybe you being greedy is fine. Gregarious will give you bonus diplomacy, right? Which you don't actually need. If you're shy. Yeah? Let's stay greedy then. Secret tunnel. Uh, I do like progress on my murder scheme. Or I could make myself more scheme resistant. No, I'm gonna, gonna grab that progress. The faster we can get that extra power from killing our uncle, uh, the better off we are, I think. Obviously this is kinda bad. My wife's pregnant. It's good, I guess. There's 100%. Any prisoners involved? No. Enforce. And one of these wars. So be it. And now you... Oh, you don't love me much, do you? Oh, it's only plus 50. I thought it was plus 100. It might have been Crusader Kings 2, I'm thinking here. Ah, plus 50 might mean we have to put you on my council or something, because otherwise you might join that faction. I mean, he is positively opinioned. I don't exactly know how the faction thing works. But I could see that the join threshold is higher than the leave threshold, if you catch my drift. So they need like um, a negative... Let's say they need a negative opinion to be able to join, but they won't leave until they have a plus 30. These are random numbers, but um, that's what I mean by thresholds, right? It's kind of how I would have <laughs> designed it uh, if it was my game, and it feels as if that might be the way it's working here. All right, uh, we have to get all these people here south now to beat up on these jokers. You are, who's my main war enemy? It's Kono, right? So I probably kind of want to make a beeline for the, um, yeah, Kono and Conquest. I want to make a beeline for the um, capital of Kono, as beeline as I can. So I can just delete them from from the equation. And we can actually be land that way. I have to be careful, and I won't be. <laughs> but I'll try my very best. Um, yes, yes. We have to be careful because obviously there might be people who... Oh wait, we are getting attrition on the way there. Um, not like that. There might be people who attack us on the way. It's probably passing by key this place that's hurting us, right? We do go this way. Are you an idiot? We go this way. Yeah, no nope. game. <laughs> I mean, maybe this is a bit slower. But it should be the same number of provinces, so I don't think the distance should be too huge, or the difference in distance. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Increased military presence. Immunity to county corruption. Eh. I mean, murder en route. What can we do? We can pay 30 ducats to Elizabeth. Uh, we get map surroundings. Which gives us more secrecy and more success chance. 
which should already be very good. Well, we only have 90% 90, 90 success now, so maybe. Um, she might brag about her wealth and uh, we get minus 20% secrecy. Which would be very unfortunate. I mean, we do get a plus, plus 10 in general. So it would only be a minus 10 on total. Can we see? No. Oh, max 90%. Oh, that's a different scheme. This is what I should be looking at all the time. Um, how much are we over the secrecy here? Base 15 plus 92 from success. So if we lose 10, we're still over the cap. So it would be fine. And what we get definitely out of it is a slightly better success chance, right? Yeah. So that's okay, I think. I could do it myself, which gives me 60% chance of getting the map surroundings. I might gain stress and I might become ill. And then I would not have the thing. I'll have her draw a map. And she is discreet. Nice. I mean, yeah, we had to pay her, but 30 ducats. That's an amount of money I can't even afford to pay right now. Even though I have money woes. Why would these guys declare the war? They clearly can't win it. So the only thing they can succeed in doing here is in annoying me. Which... It is annoying. I'm not going to say it's not annoying. It is very annoying. But also, how does that benefit them? They might have seen me being at war with people who had a lot of troops or something, and I just lost a bunch of troops, and somehow they thought it would be a fine thing to do. But, yeah. I don't know. I am under siege already. Where's that? In Toro. But it's not actually true. Red loot recovered. Toma is now under siege. Yeah, I'm on my way. I'm sending the troops. Send in the troops. Trying to do that. So, I mean, how many people are we looking at total? Even with her friends, 2,500, she's attacking me. It's it's not a move she should ever have done. How's that faction thing looking? These guys are not really showing any signs of leaving. Now, do I hand them some cash? If I were to send you, you want so much money. But I do kind of want these people out of the faction, right? <sighs> Let's gift this one and see how quickly that works and then decide whether we deal with the others too. I doubt it worked immediately. No. I think the monthly tick is something we're going to at least have to wait for. You guys, merge up. Um, would like to have a better commander. Then go medic these people. Central reinforcements. My vessel was taken prisoner. Somebody from my house, but I mean my house is my house is vast. <laughs> that doesn't really say much. 27th of January, and there comes February now, which I assume changed things. Yeah. So we bought her out of this. Uh, faction power dropped. So oh, he looks like somebody we can easily drop up, out as well, but he also... These two don't bring tons of troops. I mean, this one's at least 4% of the, the soldiers. And I don't think I can buy any of these others out. Hmm. How much money do you want? Probably also like 150 ducats. Yeah, that's so much money. Stop doing this to me. Now, I don't think that faction power calculates, or is calculated directly into um, the, the limit here. I mean, uh, to the, the speed that this is happening at. Well, maybe it is, right? Because discontent is rising based on the faction military power above threshold. So I guess getting these people out quickly Helps. Now we're 48% over threshold, and that's a plus two. I don't know where those breakpoints are. 
That's gonna be tough to find out. You're gonna remove 4.1. That puts you at... So we're not getting, gonna get it below 150 and we will be below 145. Uh, we're not gonna go below 140. I doubt the breakpoint is at like 141. So I don't think I need to pay this guy now. We wait for other changes to happen. Um, to do that. Oh, get me get to killing here, please. Please and thank you. You get to killing there, you're supporting there. Good, 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 good. Then you are the one going straight for Kano? No, did I? No, you're the one going straight for Kano. Okay. You have my siege equipment, that's cool. Let's give you a siege person too. Get that support in there, please. It's not looking super great at this point in time. Yeah. Clear that up. And our power is somewhat rising, um, our total soldiers. I think the more people like us, the more levies we get. If I. What? That was, wasn't that only true for tribal vassals? I'm not quite sure. No to dedication to faith. I think that just is something for clergy opinion, so we shouldn't shouldn't really do anything for us here. I can change sucking Kenya's contract. You're the one I'm trying to kill, aren't you? Um Even though you're freaking great. No no, are you the one I'm I think you're the one who's claim I'm pressing. I just pressed yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a hook on you, a weak hook, favor. That must be from the from the thing we did for you, maybe? The claim pressing. Now I don't really want to change his tax, make him unhappy or anything. Um I don't think I can give him a core cool contract D clause. To do here. I mean, obviously, I would like more taxes, but I really am really afraid of doing that right now. We have this favor for another, what's that, nine years or something. So, we might be able to do that later. I'm just wondering if we can use this favor for something else. Revoke title, modify contract, arrange marriage, imprison, retract vassal. No, none of this is really. It'd be interesting to turn that favor into like opinion or don't join factions or something like that. Something like that. 149. Did my power go down or did yours go up? I don't like 149. It's getting very close to breakpoint territory, I assume. 150 sounds like a very plausible breakpoint. Um, sieging stuff though, sieging stuff. You already have siege equipment, isn't that nice? Just, no, well, not equipment, but siege. Siege commander. You have siege commander and siege equipment. So that's groovy. How many people are we still fighting? 1,600. I think I'm gonna stand down some of my troops here. We don't need the whole army to deal with this. And this way we save some money. Take two years to return home. Two years. Maybe I don't spend my troops. Because this is seven months. I hate the losing of money. But I don't think I can afford to wait two years to get my troops back at this point in time. So let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's get our murdering done, eh? Should be close. Culture in Tripolitana changes to Hausa. Well done. Can you do anything in the short run to make me better? I mean, more money. But it's only domain tax, and we almost have no domain. Extra taxes would be nice. Certainly not building anything. I think I want to keep on focusing on the long run idea. And that means converting things that have high development. Does this tell me the development in this mode? The change from development is in there, but no. So, development map mode, please. A villa is 12, 14, Barker, but Barker seems already house here. 
Salem is 12, Alexandra I know we already did, 17 in Gizeh, and it's Egyptian. So why don't you go and walk there, sucking Igumun? Igumu? Now if we were to fire him and replace him with our lady, um, this one here, we might be able to get her out of the faction, which would be huge. But he would get like minus 60 opinion with us and then maybe he joins, so... What are we winning, really? Oh, this is... This ain't easy. Now I know we're about to... Um, run out of time here, to put a cut in here. But I really want to see how that assassination is going and we're close. So I'm gonna... Go slightly over time. Um, a dance is on the siege? What kind of dance? Down there? What? Okay. Because somebody already cleaned it out. Can I like ally you? Oh, you don't like me. <laughs> but you're my... my something something. <laughs> Neighboring ruler. Wait. Wait, are you not even my family anymore? What happened here? This used to be my family's empire. Well, yeah, empire. But you're not my family, and you are certainly not my family. What happened to you? Your parents are... Oh, did you marry... Not much linearly. Linearly. G. How is there one of these children to this of my dynasty? That's a regular marriage. Did I screw that up? I hope not. I'm gonna assume not, because why would I screw things up? It would just be dumb. <laughs> My newborn daughter is my play heir, Fadima. Fadima is a genius. Good, good girl. <laughs> you grow strong and wise. And, you know, <laughs> not have to be my heir too soon. We kind of should have it. Do we have a court um, thing about healer guy? Person, you're still in there. It's Junory. You'd like me 87, you're still in that faction? Gee, I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Um, 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 um court, court guy. Court healer person guy. Where do I find you again? It's on here, court physician. Now, can I make somebody my court physician? Uh, da, 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 da. I want my court. I want somebody who has. I can't sort this. Um, there's a list. We can do this, I guess. Give me people in my court who have high learning. 27, that's my Magiala. Can I also make you my court physician? Yes. Get it done. Heal me and heal me good. Can I seek treatment? Is that a thing you can actively do? No. Because I have that wound. I would like to not fester and do mean things. What do you order Hyatt? Come on, murder scheme. Mm, yay, populists. Gotta love populist. Any good? Yeah, you. Hunt these people down for some wars. I want to end this war as quickly as I can. Uh, yeah, do it. Get it done. I was killed by you, ended my scheme to murder him. Cut my tracks well. That should have given me inheritance, right? Or did you get a child before things happened? Mm, well, I got nothing. So he must have uh, <laughs> had a child. That's very unfortunate. We had all these plans. I mean, still we got him out of the faction. But dropped stuff by a lot. I am only changed plus four now. Oh, it was plus five before, right? Base three and then yeah. So we slowed it down a bit. 
And you are actually kind of not super unhappy with me anymore. But, I mean, if this guy is still in at 86, I doubt giving you a bunch of money is going to save things. Well, what else is there? What else is there? I make her, I give her money and make her my steward. And hope the other guy doesn't join the faction. Get 40% out of this and the they can't ultimate. Has to be the plan, right? Let's try it. But, let's try it next episode. <laughs> Thank you folks so much for watching. If you like what you've seen, please do hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. If you have anything at all to say, then please do that in that comment section. Until then, thank you so much for watching, and see you folks next time!